What's up guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I wanna show you guys how to actually start getting some pictures. So I don't want this crappy, you know, little thing here. I want some actual food pictures going down. So right now what we have is we're able to call the Yelp API and get businesses. Now from businesses, like we can get a bunch of different ones, like we can get the first one, and then from there, it'll give us a URL. So that URL you just saw there, that points to like a Yelp business like right here. They'll give you this business URL right here. But what we really want is URLs to all these little pictures right here, which is not what they give us, which is unfortunate because that's what we need. So what we're gonna do to get around this is, first off, notice this is the year that URL they give us. Notice uh, how this is structured. And watch when I click photos, what happens. So notice how the only thing that changes in the URL is this part right here. So if I go back, if someone gave me this URL and I wanted to get to the photos URL for the same business, I would just do underscore photos. And I'd be taken here. So that's what we're going to program is we're going to go straight to this page, get photos, and then once we're here, we're going to do a little bit of scraping. And we're going to get all these image sources. Now another little thing that we're going to do now if we inspect the source on one of these guys, um, what we want to, what we'd like to get is the source right here. You know, for each one of these guys, get the source for it, which is, um, you can see there's a div um, with the class photo box, and then there's an image inside. So that's what we're going to do to select it. Um, this is what's called as web scraping. We're going to be using a library, which I'll show you in a second. Before we do that, I want to show you a little something else. If we are just to say, take this URL um, and put it in our bar to see what it looks like. I just put one here beforehand. Notice how this picture is kind of blurry and kind of ugly. Because what it's doing is it's the uh, source for this little image right here. But what we really like is a nice crisp image. And what I noticed was... As you can see with this URL, it's like it has this code and then it has this weird thing. But if you replace right here with the, just an O, so slash O.jpg, it'll give you the original picture and you get a nice blow up of the original picture. So what we're about to code is to get these nice images, we're going to get all these image sources right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and replace just the end right here. Um, where it says slash 258s, we're going to replace that with a zero. Or not a zero, a uh, lowercase o. And that'll give us the original, and it'll look nice just like this. Okay, so how are we going to do all this stuff? Well, first things first, we are going to be creating, uh, we're going to be needing to do some web scraping. And when you're doing web scraping, uh, JSoup is the way to go for Java. So I'll put this in the description. Uh, this link and it's for JSoup and this is the uh, Gradle line, the compile that you're going to need. So we're just going to add this to our app. Resync. And now let's create, um, we're going to create a separate class that's all it's going to do is it's going to be scraping. A new Java class. This is going to be a restaurant scraper, not scraper, parser. Okay. So what we'd like is to give it this the HTML for this page, and then what it's going to return us is a list of URLs. Uh, or sources to each one of these files. So we're going to pass it some HTML, which the HTML corresponds to this page. So we're going to create public static get pictures. And this is going to return a string, a list of strings, which will be our um, URLs. And we're going to pass in a parameter as HTML. So this is just part of how it's going to work. Um, we're going to actually get, how we actually get the HTML is another story. 
um, how we actually get to this page and get the HTML we'll work on in the next video. In this video we're just going to work on we have this HTML and how are we going to grab it. So first thing we're going to do is create a new document. Oops, not that one. Uh, make sure you click on the JSUP version. And we're going to just do document dot parse. Oops. It's not document. Document parse. Nope, it's not document. Let me double check what it is. Um, jsoup.parse. jsoup.parse. And you pass in the HTML. So this creates a document object which allows us to then um, look for as I said we now have this document kind of uh, basically it goes in and allows us to select different elements using select so we can select um, images that have divs so elements we'll call these images is equal to doc dot select now what we can do is we can say div dot and then we can use this class right here photo box photo box a greater than sign and then image so what this does is it looks for a div um, with the class photo box and it looks for an image inside of it so it's going to get all images that are inside a div called photo box so now we have, have uh, all these images selected so we're just going to do a for loop and grab the sources for each one. So let's create a list to store these. So this will be a list of strings and it'll be our URLs, new array list. Um, so for we'll do a for each loop. So for each element, e in elements or images. So we could also say for each image. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to grab the, let's create a string up here, the source. So source is equal to URLs, not URLs, image, dot ATTR, uh, source. And then we're going to check and make sure the source is not null and source and let's set it up. It, it actually doesn't matter. Make sure it's not null and source is not empty. Double equal. Um, and you'll see I just made a small error. You can't actually do string comparison with that. So equals not. Okay, if it's not, then we'll do urls.append. Sorry, not append, add, and then we'll add the source to it. And then all we're going to do is we're going to return source. Sorry, urls. Okay, so now if we would call get pictures, passing the HTML in this page, it would return us every single, um, it would return a list of the sources right here. But that's not exactly what we want. We don't want this source. We want to modify it and put an O right here um, to get the original image. So we're just going to create a little helper function right here called, um, uh, it's going to return a string, get original. And you pass it in a string, the URL, and it will change it like how we said. So we'll just pass in get original. So first we have to check uh, where this slash is. So we're going to go for create an i up here and i i is equal to um, url dot size not size length i is 1 i is greater than or equal to 0 I minus minus. So we're going to go backwards until we find a slash. So if I is equal to equal to slash, we then break. And then all we do is we return 
grab my semicolon. We're going to return url.substring from 0 to i plus 1, and then all we're going to do is add o.jpg. Okay, so how this code is working is you'll notice um, we're starting at the end of the uh, URL and we first check this character and then that character and that character and we should be doing char at url.char at to check each character and if it's equal to this slash um, we know we're at uh, the right point where we can uh, break and then we get the substring which would be the URL to here and then we're just appending o.jpg on top of it so that will give us the original string okay so this allows us to parse um, this page right here and this is um, this allows us to scrape all the images off this Yelp page right here so this not, might not be making total sense right now but in the next video, we're going to hook it up and actually make a web request, get this HTML, and it'll make a lot more sense. So stay tuned to the next video, and hopefully, you know, it'll make more sense. Thanks.